Hello, welcome again to YouTube. In the last video, we saw how we could draw simple shapes. In this video, we are going to see how we can draw complex shapes from simple shapes using operations implemented in the PATH tool. And these are going to be union, difference, intersection, exclusion, division, and cut path. The other functions of the PATH tool will be used as we go on to draw more complex objects. For now, we concentrate only on this. You therefore can apply the path tool on objects, on two objects minimum, to create a union, a difference, an intersection, a division, or to cut a path. And here I've illustrated using cycles on squares. And the final product of your operation will depend on whether one of the objects is above or below. Here we see the results of applying this operation on these objects here, whereby the cycle is above the square, and below we see the result of applying the same operation on these two objects, whereby the cycle is below the square. To illustrate, I'm going to go here, grab the rectangle tool, and then by clicking on the board and holding the control key down to create a square, I pull and create a square like this shift it down a little bit. Similarly, I'm going to grab the cycle tool and then holding the left mouse key down and the control key to create a perfect cycle. I'm going to pull to create a cycle on top of the square. I grab the selection tool and bring the cycle to sit on top of the square. Now I select the square and give it a blue color. Click by the side to release. I select the cycle and give it a brownish color. Now I'm going to hold the left mouse key down and drag on top of both objects to select and then take Ctrl D to duplicate and holding the Ctrl key down, I pull the object to sit by the side. I highlight the two objects and then Ctrl D again to duplicate. Holding the Ctrl key down, I pull both to sit by the side. Lastly, I select these two and then take Ctrl D again and holding the Ctrl key down, I pull to the side to sit here. Now I go ahead and select all objects and then take Ctrl D to duplicate and holding the Ctrl key down, I pull to sit below here. I select again all of the objects and then take Ctrl D to duplicate and holding the Ctrl key down, I pull this to sit below here. Now we want the cycles here to be on top of the squares, which is fine. We're going to use this one as a control and we're going to apply the operations on this to see what changes have occurred. Below, we want the cycles to be below the squares. So we're going to select one cycle, holding the shift key down, we sequentially select the others. And we can do that not just for one line, we can go again further down here and select all the cycles by holding the shift key down. And then we go up here and lower selection to bottom. We click by the side to release. Now we are ready to begin to apply our operations to each of these combinations. So I'm going to select this one and then go to path and union. And this is what we get. I select this below for comparison, go to path and union, and we have something totally different. I select the next up here, go to path, difference, and below here for comparison, I select this, go to path, difference, and I go next here, select this, go to path, intersection, and here I select this for comparison, go to path, intersection, I select the next, go to path, exclusion, and for comparison, I select this one here below, go to path, exclusion. Next, I select this, go to path, division, and for comparison, I select this here and go to path, division. And lastly, I select this, go to path, cut path, and I select this and go to path, cut path. We now have seen the results of the operations that have been applied on simple shapes to create entirely new shapes. 
Such operations can be applied not just on squares and cycles, but on all kinds of objects. In order to begin to introduce you into scientific illustration, in the next two videos, we are going to use these skills to one, create a DNA helix, and secondly, to create illustrations for a lock and key hypothesis in enzyme kinetics. Thank you for watching my video. Please do not forget to subscribe.